We wanted to kick off this bonus episode by talking about Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, a movie that I got shit on for criticizing just because it's Tarantino by people who hadn't seen it yet. Well, Jackson has you now sh- seen it. You get shit on for every movie, though. That's not yeah. special. Yeah, but Charlie, Tarantino's you- a special breed. Charlie, you gotta remember that no matter what, if your opinion isn't liking it, people are gonna shit on you. Well, that's, I mean, that's just the general wave of the internet. The point I'm saying is they didn't even see the fucking movie and had criticisms about it and how it's already the best movie they'd ever even heard of. Jackson's now seen it and fucking hated it, too. Texted me at 4 a.m. about it. Mm. <laughs> well, well, it wasn't your 4 a.m. Yeah, it it was your 4 a.m., I mean, not mine. <laughs> it was midday for me. Don't make me sound like a weird loser who goes <laughs> and watches Quentin Tarantino movies at 3 a.m. by himself. Are you calling Tarantino fans losers, Jackson? <laughs> I would. If they go out at 3 a.m., I would. I can imagine the text now. Charlie, I just got back from the 24-hour theater by myself, <laughs> and I just saw this movie. It sucked. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's it's not a great movie. I mean, all the elements that make up the movie, set design, acting, like, the sound, etc., the stunts, all, all fantastic and, like, well-directed. It just didn't have, like, a a compelling narrative behind it that kept me interested. It was a lot of just slow shots of, like, cars driving along the highway. There were, like, two good scenes when they were dealing with, like, the... the, the what, what was it? The Marilyn cult? The Marilyn Manson cult? On the ranch and at the end, those were the only, like, compelling scenes. Everything other than that was just, like, random stuff for for art's sake, I guess. Like, it was like... It was like Quentin Tarantino really wanted to make... 10 different movies but he didn't have enough material for all of them so he put them in this movie instead it felt really disconnected a lot of the time so is it kind of like a masturbatory movie where he's like oh yeah look at that shot oh i'm quentin tarantino this is so good oh yeah more or less i think it's more for the sake of just being like a hangout movie like it's literally just characters talking about uninteresting garbage when it's not doing cool shots with like good movie scenes See, I think hangout movies would be the opposite, where the plot is garbage. But there is it's no just a plot. Bunch of, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, that, I think a hangout movie would be like, you know, no one cares about the plot or the characters or the dialogue, but there's really good action scenes and just shit. No, going I mean the on characters the are hanging out. The movie itself is oh, a hangout. Oh. Oh. I, they're not even really hanging out, though, are they? I, I, there was like three three times when Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio were in the same scene, hanging out. <laughs> well, it's just not in the same characters hanging out. For example, like, there's a fucking 15-minute scene of DiCaprio talking to a child about acting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like a very Tarantino thing. <laughs> oh, uh, to, uh, to elaborate on that point, a Tarantino thing, there were so many scenes with Margot Robbie's feet directly in the camera. Oh, yeah, there was a lot it of was, feet. It, in the cinema, she had them up on the seats so you could see those beautiful souls glistening with dirt it was beautiful thanks and, uh, Quinton if you're speaking of which Margot Robbie is one of the most useless characters I've ever fucking seen in a movie she contributed nothing to the plot of it nothing to anything relating to the movie whatsoever she was just there for the sake of saying hey look it's Sharon Tate hey look Manson cult you know she's gonna die right and then, uh, and then she doesn't die ooh the Tarantino twist yes he's rewritten history yet again in artistic fashion he had an interesting take on that. He, I listened to a podcast recording with him. Uh, it was like an interview. He said he basically <laughs> said that he didn't. He he you really did respected extra Sharon. On this boring movie. Did I just hear that right? <laughs> well, uh, I, 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 I yeah, give I wanted to credit, hear. I do that too. I if I watch I w- something I don't like, I'll look up and be like, "Why was it bad? Did something yeah, go I wrong?" I wanted to. He- I wanted to hear the man's thoughts on it. If he really did just phone it in, or if he had like a clear artistic intention with the movie, and with on the Sharon Tate discussion, he basically said he really respected her and didn't want her to be just remembered for her death. <laughs> so instead, we remember her for her beautiful, dirty feet in cinemas. If he really <laughs> respected her, he would have just omitted her from this fucking garbage movie he made. <laughs> That was just him pissing on her legacy and using her as a sexual conduit for his feet obsession. <laughs> that is exactly what it is. The set design was really good, though. It did it really was. feel like it It was in that era. And I, really, I feel like that's what he really wanted to do. He just really wanted to do, to do a period piece, but he didn't really have a compelling story for it. He didn't have a story for it. He didn't have a drive or narrative for it whatsoever. It was a completely You want to know how he made the movie? movie. You wanna know how he made the movie? He sat down and he went like, Oh man, I wanna do when is it, the nineteen sixties that takes place? 
Uh, yeah, roughly. So 1969, he, he sat, maybe. Knowing him, he probably sat down and he went, yeah, California in the 60s was really, really cool. And also, I really like feet. What if I could put the two together? Like, then the movie was born. This was the first movie without Harvey Weinstein's backing or every other every other uh, Quentin Tarantino movie has had Harvey Weinstein as the as the They need him back if Tarantino producer. wants to make good movies again. <laughs> maybe, he was the only thing he was a secret together. recipe. Yeah. What if he Bring was the one who Weinstein. toned What if he toned down the feet in every movie? He was like, you can have some, <laughs> but you need a cool plot. He you probably wrote action. the fucking script and story because it certainly wasn't Tarantino. Jesus. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Quentin just really had a clear his own clear direction of the movie and it just doesn't really there translate is well no direction him. it's just a collage of shit happening they're, they're kind they're kind of is it's about becoming useless no, I, got, I got the themes the, there's a theme but there's no points getting there there's a fucking six month text to speech fucking explaining what happens yeah. over a six month period it's the laziest thing in the world it's so yeah. fucking dumb so well yeah I didn't, I didn't enjoy it so what were people's defenses of the movie it's Quentin Tarantino. It's Quentin Tarantino. It's supposed to be this way. You're too dumb to understand. You have bad taste. You don't get it. It's art. It's pr it's amazing. He's done it again. My God, this is the best movie ever. Look at all the things he's done. It's fucking sad. It is I mean, sad. Tarantino People find meaning in everything and try and like convince themselves that they enjoyed it despite it being the most boring, uninteresting, most useless creation. That movie has no purpose to exist. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't say anything. It's just I here's mean, some if shots you find that are purpose cool. in it. Then if it any, has purpose. People find anything, purpose in pet rocks. It doesn't mean it's meaningful. If anything, <laughs> that means that you should be able to shit on it even harder because Tarantino's proven to do slower, plot-driven movies like Kill yeah, Bill. Yeah, it does them well. I love yeah. Kill Bill. Kill Bill's a fucking amazing movie, but if you Glorious it, Bosses got, is one of my favorite movies of all time. Yeah, it's another one. They've got they've got great scenes, but then they have plenty of slow parts, plenty of character building parts. And it does great. and it does it well there when he has something he wants to say and show and once upon a time in Hollywood all he's showing is feet most of the time and then literally nothing else no substance at all except for occasional good lines from Brad Pitt and just incredible acting but that's what Kaya said and he just piggybacks off of incredible actors he didn't say that this episode <laughs> just when we were talking about it off screen <laughs> <laughs> well then he can say it again right now Kaya. Uh. I really have no opinion on Quentin Tarantino all that much. I haven't seen Once Upon a Time. I think the only movies of his that I have seen are Pulp Fiction and From Dusk Till Dawn, and I both incredibly boring. Okay. Which is fair, fair to have, I suppose. I just think yeah. the whole shitting on you for not liking that movie or this movie, it's... Fucking super fans, man. Everyone's has to be a stan now. You can't make fun of anyone. You can't make a criticism of anything anyone likes or a person. What? An That's idol. a good point. It's yeah. you guys remember uh, Leave Britney Alone, that guy crying Chris into the Crocker. camera. Yeah, Chris Crocker going yeah. Leave Britney alone. Leave her alone. And fast forward to today. That's you know, back then we made fun of that guy because we thought, geez, look at this guy crying with his mascara running down his cheeks, all because somebody made jokes about Britney Spears, about his idol. Today, that is every fan. Everyone. No matter what the fuck it is. L leave XXX Temptation alone. He's dead. Don't make jokes about him. Leave Quentin Tarantino alone. All of it, fuck. I mean, you can't make a single joke about a single episode of a TV show without some loser making a Reddit account on five pages long of a rant about how subhuman and ignorant you are. Yeah, it's I stupid. actually just got that yesterday. You've all I, I made Chris what yesterday. Cut it the fuck I've out. Made, I made a jokes about a YouTube channel called Fartimations who makes Five Nights at Freddy <laughs> fart porn. <laughs> And some irate, angry man on Twitter barraged me in the notification saying, I thought you were above fetish or kink shaming people, Charlie. Didn't you say you don't care Aww. what people do behind closed doors? This is this is unbelievable. You know, people kill themselves when they make fun of fart porn sometimes. Like, oh, it's just, Charlie. I can't make jokes about fart porn. Charlie, yeah, I, you're, I don't you're care not allowed that they're into to. it. It's just I was making jokes about it. It's funny. 
You're not allowed to joke about porn at all, man. Some people take that shit super personally. I, about I have a series where I well no, it's porn specifically. I don't know why. I think it's because they're ashamed to like I, I don't know what it is, but I have a series where I look at Rule 34 games and just some of the most bottom of the barrel, terrible, literally made in third world countries for money to slap ads on them porn flash games. And some people they will, I, I make fun of like the bad dialogue and grammar and how English is clearly not even their second language. And some people are like, how dare you say this about them? They're obviously just trying their best to put out a product for people to enjoy. You fucking scumbag. This is the only thing they have in their country to masturbate yeah, well, to. Yeah, that's kind of fucked up, Andrew. That's just that racist. A little far, you just yeah. make far. <laughs> You're just making fun of But fun of specifically, hentai. they specifically get defensive of this cheap, low quality, awful porn that was literally just made to make a buck. As like this holy grail of artistic expression. Yeah, but they now you take go, you pride in it. The bigger of a fan you are, the more fervently you defend whatever it is you're into, the better you are, the cooler you are. They've turned being a groupy dork into a cool thing somehow. I don't know how it happened. I keep saying it's just K-pop fans, but it really isn't, man. I mean, it, yeah, you know the kind of groupies who, when Brad Pitt or some musician, some of the Backstreet Boys, they walk down the red carpet and the girls are screeching their hearts out yelling i want to have your baby uh, the kind of women who write love letters to the boston bomber because he's handsome and shit so he can literally kill women and children with a bomb and he's still he still has groupies that's every fan now man you can't criticize shit yeah. it used to be this is the kind of feeling we all go through that phase when we're 14 years old right you're 14 13 whatever you discover a band Suddenly, it's the best band on the planet. It's your favorite thing. So now when somebody says, no, you know what, Kaya? Slipknot is not the best band, actually. It's not even metal. It's new metal. You get, you take it as a personal insult because that's what you've built your entire personality around is fucking just liking this thing. So when somebody makes a joke about it, you get a hair up your ass. Well, that's, what, that's basically what it is. People are like personally insulted when someone challenges their interests or tastes. That's basically all it is. You, they take guys, it as an insult on their very being. Do you guys remember when Stan used to be like an insult or kind of something you didn't want to be? And now everyone on the internet is like, I'm the biggest Stan for this. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Stan. It's like, I'm the biggest Chris Crocker. That's right. I'll cry on the camera if you insult Triple X Tentation or whatever the fuck his name is. Really? Fucking hell. It's <laughs> Tentacion. Yeah. Mm. It's just kids at the end of the day who... No, they they're have. not. No, they're not. Well, they're kids in their brains. Let me rephrase it then. It's just, it's just people who have no personality, nothing going on in their life, nothing interesting of themselves or good hobbies. So their hobby becomes, you know, what, what Kai was saying, they like something. And that becomes their personality. Mm -hmm. Dude, you can only define shit. yourself by like. I don't know. It, who's it is sad if propagating this culture. I don't know where this came from. It's worse than it was ten years ago. It's how long has it been? It's been a fucking decade since the lost finale, and people are still bitching about it. You, you still have tears running down your cheeks because a soap opera and didn't end the way you wanted it to. At this pace, we're gonna still what be talking fuck? about Game of Thrones a millennium from now. People still complain yeah. and trying to make change.org petitions to the fucking 400th president of the United States who passed some sort of legislation to have Game of Thrones remade. Holy shit, man. Where did this come from? I don't get it. When did it become a point of pride to be such a sensitive bitch about the things you like? That's a good question. I wonder if we could trace it back to like one specific turning point. I think if you traced it back, you'd find its origins on Tumblr, to be honest. I'm not saying that as like a meme or something. But that was kind of the culture Tumblr cultivated early on in its career back in like 2013. Communities developed as like super fan stalkers. So I think once Tumblr killed itself, that kind of branched everywhere else into the internet. They kind of got their tendrils everywhere, would be my guess as a scientific expert. It only died last yeah, year, didn't possible. it? Or this year, when the porn was banned? Mm -hmm. It died December 17th, 2018. It's not dead. It's not dead. It just got bought for $3 million. They're doing fine. Uh, no, so, yeah. They're, $3 million they're when they were originally bought for $1 billion. Interestingly on. enough, they're still getting 380 million monthly visitors a month. From what? But they can't monetize it. Or I guess. Yeah, they can't. 
I don't know. They, they clearly can't use that for any profits or anything. That has to be a lie. That it's has really to be just like sad. Twitter and I confirmed it on like three different bots. websites. Yeah, probably bots, I'd say, or something like that. But they're still getting huge numbers. I don't know who's using it. If you go on there, you can't really find overly new posts with a whole lot of activity. So it really does seem odd. It's crazy to me that, that uh, Apple alone can basically just kill an entire uh, platform, like a really popular platform, just at the, like the you know in a second's yeah. work of time worth well of time. jackson you it's gotta crazy. remember that's a an, that's another big shift that a lot of people don't think apple? about at least a lot of older people think how many people almost exclusively browse the internet from their phone they don't they don't even use a fucking laptop anymore or a desktop so apps are just the defining thing mm -hmm. for websites now well that's that's why that's why tumblr died isn't it kai because apple basically said oh that's we're not you having mean. you on our platform anymore yeah, yeah, child porn because they had child yeah. porn communities. It's literally, just two platforms, two people who have control over the entire market of apps on smartphones. It's Google Play and Apple. And if both of them tell yeah. you, "Well, fuck mm -hmm. off," then what are you gonna do? You can you can distribute an APK for Android devices, which is what I think Pornhub does. They have an official app, which they are not allowed to put in the app store, so you have to get it from Pornhub. Uh, the website itself you have to download it and put it on your phone yourself i don't think it even works on ios happen. yeah which is not going to yeah. happen that immediately slashes the, your potential audience in not even half i mean you lose 99 percent of your audience it's not yeah as you always have to remember you always have to remember with that shit that you have to fly for the lowest common denominator whatever is the most prevalent easy available solution so the fact that everyone gets their shit on the app store if you can't be there you're fucked that's it how it is it's kind of sad it's not really sad it's more scary than anything i'd say to just have two players that dictate everything you have the option of looking at on the app store is kind of rough yeah i i guess i mean sad in the fact that you kind of have to go through certain hoops and conform to certain standards to get on the play store so there's possibly a lot of like interesting shit we won't see because of that it'll mm -hmm. just never have a chance to take off like Pornhub. Yeah, yeah like Pornhub. Pornhub. I mean, Pornhub. I'll never see porn now. You know for a fact if Pornhub could get on the Apple Store, it would be like the third most popular app of all time. Oh, or absolutely. That's got to be so yeah. fucking frustrating for Pornhub. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely it is. That sucks, man. But what's the alternative? I, I just wish... I just wish that we could have a fucking toggle, like a like a fucking common sense filter, where when you make your account, they say, "Do you want to see porn?" No, okay, we'll hide all of it. You're welcome. Yes, there well, you they go. Well, they should just do that when you put in your account age or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Why? All right. So here's the big question: Why isn't porn on there? Like, I, because I, I it get puts that the they don't. Bonus on the parents who are all fucking idiots, which is why Apple was sued for God knows how much money. When some parent's child took his iPad and bought $30,000 worth in in-app purchases, it was only then that Apple introduced some sort of a parental lock on their video games. The same shit was, would happen with porn. Some parent, some idiot, some neglectful, drunk, wino mom's gonna sue Apple because she left her phone on the countertop unlocked and her son mm -hmm. watched porn on it. She's gonna sue them. That's what they don't want. It's fucking sad, and yet it's completely true. <laughs> Parents dictate the world that we live in. Unfortunately. We yeah. should all have kids so we have the power of parents on our side. No, we'd you be parents. think you'd be a good father? Yeah, we'd have their, like, we'd have the vote of the parents. We could represent every parent ever. Have that no, power. I, I See, think, but that's... I think there's even more struggle inter... I don't know what kind of a community you would call it, but, like, inter-parent community I, I feel like there would be a lot more drama my child is smarter than yours you're stupid you're a bad uh, mom dad yeah. you don't know what you're doing yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I will say i i don't know if you guys ever see this but whenever i see advice or like answers to questions that start with as a parent or as a mother <laughs> i just completely ignore it just entirely. nothing is more meaningless than saying as a parent or a mother yeah. as if all of a sudden you're smart now because you yeah. fucked up and had a kid you might yeah. be experienced. Like, if I'm going, hey, my baby's doing this, what should I do? That might be helpful. But if I'm like, hey, what's the scientific theorem for calculating the right angle of a triangle? They're not going to fucking tell me. 
It doesn't cool, add as a mother. <laughs> it does yeah, it doesn't add any knowledge. It adds experience, but if it's unrelated. Well, well as a mother, I dropped out of high school, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there would be some refreshing honesty. That would be some nice honesty. As one of the most common things on the planet, here's my take. It's just stupid, man. It's just I don't I don't I, I've noticed that with a lot of things, especially there's a bunch of subreddits dedicated to it where it's just people think that once they have kids they're just entitled to a bunch of shit and they're smarter than everyone else. It's fucking crazy. They uh, Andrew, they literally pushed a melon out of their vaginas. If that doesn't give them some <laughs> kind of degree or or like status in the world, I don't know what does. Have Look, you what have you done recently? It might be impressive, but it doesn't mean that you're a smart person. <laughs> That's not true. It they also declined to vaccinate. Oh, God. Can you say the same? Oh, God. Thought not. I, I want a little counter. I want to hang up a little placard in, in my room that just says, Days since I've been upset about anti-vaxxers and just add numbers to it and see how high I can get. Now I've got to reset it. Thanks a lot. That'll do it, baby. God. I feel like that culture is getting smaller, which is nice. I haven't seen much about that recently. It's because YouTube axed it, so you can't find anti-vax <laughs> content anymore. <laughs> Same with Flat Earth. So now, so now they're just doing it in private. Yeah, well, actually, that, that could have the Tumblr effect then, if if the big platforms just... As bad as censorship is, in, in my opinion, if they just ax all... Um, what do you call it? Vaccination propaganda, then maybe it will have an impact. Maybe you'll see vaccination uses skyrocket and anti-vaxxers dwindle yeah just Maybe. like with drugs the war on drugs worked so did prohibition mm -hmm. no one drank <laughs> <laughs> I remember I guess those it. days yeah I remember prohibition it sucked going to the many things always works <laughs> Shit, I have well, you know what did? I remember when YouTube banned prohibition videos. When you, <laughs> if you ban individuals, it works pretty fucking well. Alex Jones is kind of a dead name in the industry as a result of being washed off the internet. Eh. What is he up to now, actually? Good question. I have no fucking idea. Desperate. He only can go live on his own website now, and. Uh. Yeah, he's fucked. He has on literally any internet nobody that he could possibly have on. He's fallen on some rough times, man. I I wonder if I could find that video of him. He had on some YouTuber and you guys, he is so fucked up. He's slurring his speech. He is on some sort of a substance. He's either absolutely drunk out of his mind, but it was goofy just listening to him. That man is, he must be suicidal. Who, the YouTuber point. or? Alex. Both. <laughs> Alex. Okay. See, but banning individuals, I think, can have a remarkable effect on ruining their life. Yeah. I mean, that goes that goes back to what we were saying about the App Store. The fact that he can't go on YouTube and Twitter now means that his audience mm -hmm. is probably and dead. And Facebook and can't yeah. use PayPal or Patreon. He's, he's, his he's, audience is gone. I mean, yeah. back, did you guys see that chart where it was back in like 2004, 2005, I think? The top 100 websites made up a good, like, 90% of internet traffic. Now the top 10 websites make up 99% of internet traffic or something ridiculous. Yeah. Like, literally everything is on, every single thing is on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit. Like, a, the uh, internet is monopolizing, just yeah, like real, real life. Amazon, Google. Thing. That's it. No, no it's no, not. I agree. I mean, what, say what we you want about Alex diversity. Jones, he's just a fat goofball. If you believe him, anything he says, it's kind of on you. It's ridiculous that you can have literal ISIS recruiters on Facebook proselytizing, telling people, here's how you shank human beings on the street, go and do it. But Alex Jones can't, and he's just selling fluoride-free toothpaste. <laughs> he sounds like a humble salesman. <laughs> I never used something, something he... he <laughs> He was spreading lies about Sandy Hook victims too. Kaya, like he was I, just, Kaya, I just think selling fluoride-free toothpaste. I think in one sentence you painted Alex Jones as the most humble man on the planet somehow. He isn't humble at all. I'm just saying what he does. So about the Sandy Hook thing. Okay, he got sued. There, court of law. Mm -hmm. Done. You don't... Uh, some big tech monopoly doesn't have to come down as some sort See? of an arbiter of justice. Some adjudicator above the law. And say no, no, no. That wasn't. Oh, that, I agree. That wasn't yeah. enough. We're going to unpersonate. I agree. I just don't think there's any that's... point in painting him as like this 
as this like innocent goofball Compares, at the same time. Compared to ISIS, who's literally teaching yeah. people yeah. how to kill people well, that's, and recruit. That's any. That's li- literally you. You compare anything to ISIS, you can make the same. The argument. problem, though, is that public perception doesn't stop just because the court's done. Like he he could do his whole Sandy Hook thing, and the court could be like, "Pay all this fine. You've been sued. It's settled." But people are still going to go, oh, he's that Sandy Hook guy. He said that stuff. Well, Which that's, is fine. That's not, yeah. that's not an issue. Yeah, that's, that's fine. You do that with ch- the pedophiles and stuff, and that's completely fine. You don't just forgive or forget about pedophiles once they've exited the, co- exited the court system. But then wouldn't I don't that... think you should do the same for what he did. But then doesn't that also translate to him being removed from the platforms because of that? Because he has a shitty no. reputation? Yeah, it's that's not exactly... pretty much the reason they did it, isn't it? Well, they viewed him as like a public danger, even though he's just like a raving <laughs> oh, lunatic. Okay. I, I didn't know they went that far. I thought they just I, went, look, this guy is a no, piece no, of no. shit. Get off. Yeah, well, that too. But yes, they consider him to be a public danger because literally anyone we don't like is a public danger. Uh, it's just creepy when he gets banned from YouTube. 60 seconds I, later, I, he's I banned he from have been banned. PayPal. 60 seconds later, he's banned from his Amazon store or whatever. Uh, 60 seconds later, he's banned from Twitter. So within five minutes, this guy's entire presence on the internet disappeared, even though none of these companies are related to one another. It's creepy to think that a bunch of nerds in Silicon Valley conspired against a human being that they didn't like. Yeah. That, that's all it is. Those big fucking dorks. I want to give them a wedgie. Give them a swirly. They're listening to us right now, Andrew, if you want to. Oh, they're taking us to out. Fuck, I'm sorry, guys. The podcast will be off of Spotify and YouTube by tomorrow. I'm honestly surprised we still have a Discord. <laughs> That's, a yeah. point. That's a really I, I, good point. I didn't even think of that. A little bit of respect to Discord for keep, giving us yeah. a platform still after yeah. all these insults that we've given them. God, God, bless, God bless you furries. Good, good going, Discord. Thank you. Fucking cucks. <laughs> Those fucking weirdos. I, I promise if you need someone to fuck your wife, I will volunteer Discord. No Discord's problem. such a bunch of pussies, can't even ban us. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dorks. <laughs> uh, now fucking Wumpus is sitting all sad in his chair right now in his fursuit listening to this. Poor guy. <laughs> oh, uh-huh. I wonder if they have something like Wumpus Day. <laughs> Or oh, they do. Of, you better fucking believe they parade around well, the office. They all dress up as Wumpus. Yeah, yeah, Wumpus costumes and banners, and they, they walk up to each other, they're like, Wumpily Dumpily, Mr. Grumpily. Springle comes in on, like, Tarzan ropes, fucking swinging from vines. <laughs> He's wearing, like, Christmas decorations and shit. Uh, Maybe their workplace is basically just like Disneyland or something. That'd be kind of cool, I guess. Oh, it's if definitely your fucking was not. Disneyland. It's really the most soulless, passive-aggressive place on the planet. Like, everything's yeah. a microaggression. Like, if Wumpus comes into work and he's wearing different colored socks or some shit. That's but gonna the be way the everything that, has to be approved by the diversity officer and shit like that. But the way that they push it is that it's a happy-go-lucky wonderland. It's like, we're here to have fun at Discord. We, we don't, we're not like other companies. You can kick your <laughs> yeah. feet up and relax. That sounds about right. Absolutely. They they we're hired the, a guy from the fucking 90s to do their PR for new employees. We're the hypest company in the world, Litmasters. Fairy oh. elves. So Charlie, would you prefer to work with somewhere like Discord, where it's that kind of... Um, like I have. It uh, sucks. Behavior? <laughs> I've or worked would somewhere you like that. <laughs> Would you prefer to work somewhere awesome like Riot where the CEO farts in your face? <laughs> wait, what? As a passing greeting. Wait, wait, didn't you hear wait, about wait. the, no, the Riot CEO? I don't know if it was the CEO, but like some upper management in Riot. He was a dude that would walk around and fart in your face and like tap you on the balls and shit. And he's recently <laughs> gotten into a bunch of trouble. Oh, yeah, they had <laughs> a whole pretty great. walkout, he- did they not? Because of sexual harassment or something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, which one was it? Was it Trindamir or Rise? Who? What? Uh, two of the league champions are named after Riot higher ups, Trindamir and Rise, and I'm assuming oh. it'd be oh, one have, of them, right? Mom, it I was, have no clue. It was C O O Scott Gelb, if you know oh, who that is. He's not even a champion in the game. He must be meaningless. No idea. Eurogamer oh, says Riot he's trying games to get there. settles class action lawsuit alleging sexual harassment, gender discrimination, following employee oh, you, walkouts earlier this year. You missed a uh, you missed another part, Jackson. He humped employees for comedic effect. <laughs> well, that's just 12? good comedy. 
<laughs> he sounds like he was fucking 12, yeah. What, what was he fucking- That's the kind of workplace I want to be in. He was, he was a diversity hire. They needed more children in the office. He's literally like 14. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. How the fuck can you be a high standing officer in a massive company and think any of that is okay? <laughs> I like this. So oh apparently. god, there's I, people I, defending him. <laughs> oh wait, what uh, are they defending? So there's a Kotaku article, of course, written on this whole thing, and the top comment is literally calling for him to be fired. Seems like a bit much. <laughs> no, it isn't. He it's, fought it in people's faces. It's a fucking professional <laughs> work environment. That's not even remotely okay. <laughs> Yeah, believe it or not, you can find a perfect balance in between that kind of behavior and the behavior at Discord. Yeah. Ooh. I understand wanting to have a cool- wanting to be a cool boss, going up to your employees, maybe be like, Hey man, what's going on? And like, maybe- maybe giving them a high five, a pat on the shoulder, something, but don't fucking fart in their mouth while they're trying to code your game. <laughs> hmm, I want to be a cool <laughs> boss today, what should I do? Sexually assault my workforce? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Hey, Bo uh, hey Bob, think... how's it going? He just bends him over the fucking coffee counter, just starts <laughs> plowing away. Kathy, are you <laughs> laughing at this? You see I'm humping him. This shit's really funny, dude. I saw this on a YouTube video last night. It's called, like, Top 10 Ways You'll Laugh Today. <laughs> what, the, what difference does this make? I, I don't get it. So, uh... They settled, and one of the law firms they used, I guess, says he listed a number of significant changes to the corporate culture which included greater transparency and strong diversity and inclusion programs and policies. So, we're gonna have the guy <laughs> fart in black people's mouths? What, what is the problem here? No, I- oh my god, that's so sinister. I people were just going, feeling left out. <laughs> I, I think it's going the other way, where they go, Oh, he he's gonna fart in your face, and we appreciate that here, because he's expressing himself. What if this he's all was just a ruse on coffee. his culture, where he went, You guys are right, we gotta settle, and we have to include more-, more way more women in the workplace, and I think they should all be hot on my floor, and I'm gonna eat beans, gonna promote Mexican culture. Yeah. <clears throat> well, wouldn't it just mean that women are fighting in your face now, or something like that? Like, everyone's free to <laughs> fight in each other's faces, not just the upper management white guy? I, I'm having a hard time understanding it, but it makes me want to work at Riot now, now that I know farting in face is welcomed. Yeah, just my full of fumes. My culture is very explicitly making other employees smell my farts and taste my jizz and slapping them in the face. So you're oppressing me if you say I can't. This is a That's this it. is a classroom, right? Games. I I mean, this is your own fault if you have a company and you only hire children. Listen, male employees, mm -hmm. according to the original complaint, promulgated a men first bro culture where unsolicited pictures of genitalia <laughs> were sent around as well as rankings what of female fuck? employees by their attractiveness <laughs> yeah, it's literally like a fucking seventh grade <laughs> holy shit it's fu that's fucking crazy man <laughs> ranking farts 2 is coming next hopefully after the lawsuit we need a tier list that's who's so ripping shit. the best ass at riot I- I wouldn't- so, how does that even- I- I just don't even know how that kind of culture becomes normalized. When I worked in software, like, I- I respected my employees and I had a working relationship and some of them I liked, but it's like I never wanted to see their dick. I never wanted to know what their farts smelled like. How, how do you get- You just weren't a good boss. Cause if yeah, it- if you it worked became at a- lame a place. If it, yeah, if it became a fucking s accepted working culture, that means some people enjoyed it. This sounds miserable. Holy shit. <laughs> I, don't, I just don't get how you can go, oh, I can't wait for work today. I hope Gary ate broccoli. I'm looking forward to that. I don't know. So what was the decision, Kaya? What did they rule? The details were not announced. They gave a bunch of mealy-mouthed non-statements. Uh, he listed a number of... Uh, let's see. The plaintiffs... Lead attorney called it a very strong settlement agreement mm -hmm. that provides meaningful and fair value, which is doesn't mean anything. It's an empty sentence. But well, supposedly yeah, both sides anything. liked the agreement. It says on Polygon at least. It says both sides called the agreement a strong, fair outcome that helped change a studio culture. Good. No All more right, farting. Then. Yeah. I, I, now I it's mean, it's gonna I, be finger banging. I'm on their side, though. I, I wouldn't want my boss to fucking fart in my face. Controversial opinion, I know. But good on How them. do you even take that as an employee, Andrew? Like, you worked in cubicle work. If your boss just, like, ripped yeah. ass and hotboxed you, what would you do? 
I, 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 Dutch so here's the thing. He brings a fucking curtain with him, like a cape. <laughs> yeah. under it and farts. <laughs> Touches a tube directly to your nose. <laughs> like that jackass stunt. <laughs> he, he walks up to you like, pull my finger. Sir, I have, I have to complete this code. We have a but pull my finger or you're fired. <laughs> Pull it, he shits himself. <laughs> he shits all over your cubicle. You're fired for pulling my finger too hard. <laughs> <laughs> he shits himself like he goes to HR dangerous. about you. <laughs> yeah, I pulled his Gary finger. pulled my finger I, too hard. I pulled my fi he pulled my finger too hard. I wanted to fart, but then I shit. Look what you made me do. It's your You're fault. Fired. He runs away crying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed. And, and the, the rest of the employees turn around. Good going, Andrew. Nice yeah. job. You really hurt you know his feelings. He's not gonna fart around here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Go see HR. <laughs> um. So anyway, anyway, when I was a wage slave, I I would assume the first time would be an accident. Like it, like. <laughs> So, so if here's you the thing. In your face. Yeah, yeah. He like honestly. shoves your face so, between his ass cheeks, motorboarding you with him, farting in your mouth, and you think that would be an accident <laughs> if a human centipedes you in the whole office. So hey, I can see Andrew rationalizing it. Wow, that was weird. Very right. clumsy today. <laughs> this so, doesn't so, smell uh, intentional. <laughs> Wait a minute, that fart smelled genuine. <laughs> Um, so no, no, no. Ob obviously, if he's like grabbing the back of my hair and like motorboating me between his big blubbery butt cheeks, it's not, it's not an accident. But I'm saying like if he, if he did it the way it's described here, where while walking by, he like farted near my face, I'd assume, okay, well maybe, maybe he just farted accidentally. That's fucking gross. I'm going to leave my desk for a minute. Go wash my face. But after I, the second time... I'd be like, all right, something's going on here. This is not okay. <laughs> Some fishy's afoot. Yeah, some, mm. We know the bottom time. of this mystery. <laughs> no one eats the same meal two nights in a row. <laughs> but I mean, putting myself in the position where it's like, you know, you're an employee, you have a big boss, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna raise a stink. <laughs> but you know, the first time I'd assume it's an accident. After that, then I'd say something. Uh, Who would you say it to? also? Yeah. Honestly, I uh, so that's a good question. I don't know what I would do. I don't know if I'd talk to him, if I talk to HR. Cuz if it's a, oh, yeah, if it's a fellow if, they're going to do a lot. If it's a fellow if it's a fellow employee, it's easy enough just go to HR and be like, "Hey, this guy is fucking farting in my mouth. I don't like it." But <laughs> but HR if it's your boss, your there's <laughs> you like go an to an HR and it's just like green with stink fumes from their ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I open the door. Ah, oh, the boss has been in here too, huh? I see. Uh, I, I don't them. know. That's 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 actually a, a big moral quandary. That's intimidating. If your boss, if you're at a company and you clearly have a higher up, and he's farting all over you, who do you tell? Do, do you talk to them about it? You we have camera phones now. Secretly record the guy humping you, you female take to employees, the grave. farting in people's mouths. Ball slapping them, sending his dick pictures to everyone. Save all of that and send it to Polygon, <laughs> Kotaku, Twitter, every place. Here is Riot oh, CEO's that. dick. You're there to do a job, Andrew. Stop being a pussy and suck those farts. Kaya, I like how you, you progressed it from where he would tap them on the nutsack as a joke to slapping them with his nutsack. <laughs> that's God what only knows what drive plays. Oh, yeah, that's what I would. I publicly embarrassed the douchebag. Yeah. I think that, yeah, that definitely would have been the most effective strategy instead of, like, putting little sneak peeks into it into, like, League of Legends character lore or something, like how boss is farting in my face under Urgot's history or whatever. I don't know why they that waited so long nothing to, like, else blow works. the lid on it. Nothing else worked with people like Harvey Weinstein. Uh, you complain, and then what? They just tell, well, you see, in your contract here, you, I guess you didn't read the fine print. It says, I can't fart in your mouth. And you waive all rights. <laughs> Too bad. The it's only reason that man got in any trouble and any embarrassment is because those women went public. And I think that's what you should do Kai, if you have necessary evidence. Kai you know. is going with the air bud logic. There's nothing in the manual that says I can't fart in your mouth. <laughs> There's nothing that says a dog can't play basketball. <laughs> I miss those kind of movies, yeah. Me too. Well, no, I the, love those it. are actually in it. the things, though. Apparently, it was in the Riot People's contract, too. If you go to the HR, or some sort of an arbitration committee that they have at the company, you automatically waive your right to take it to the actual legal court system. 
So if you go to HR, it means you wow. automatically leave it in rights kangaroo court hands, and they can decide whatever the fuck they want to decide. Same, right? you get, don't you guys remember? Harvey Weinstein had the same clause in his contract that said he was immune to sexual harassment lawsuits. That was written into his contract. You can't win against How these fuckers. How does no one think that's suspicious? How does no one immediately raise a flag about that? Probably don't read it. Yeah, that's true. Well, don't you normally, if you're... Well, I guess if you're not a Riot employee, you wouldn't. But if you're like an actor, don't you normally have an agent or a lawyer who goes over contracts? Yes, and he tells you, listen, honey bun, this is how it works in Hollywood. This is the casting couch. If he wants to grope you a little, <laughs> let him. And maybe you'll make you'll go places. Hollywood is cynical, man. Do you think, do you think they... Do you think they actually have a phrase reading it over? He's like, oh, that part, standard sexual harassment clause. No big deal. Don't worry about it. The casting couch isn't a porn term, Andrew. It came out of Hollywood. It's an actual Hollywood term. So uh, are you saying that's what happens in League of Legends headquarters, though? Like, you're going for your job interview, and they're like, you want to work on your favorite game, I get it, but you're going to have to suck some farts and get some ball taps every <laughs> now and then. I think and even you're going to weigh up that decision? It may be spoken or unspoken, but I assume that a lot of people assume that's how things are run. At least in Hollywood, I don't know about Riot Games. I feel like that place is more on like a fucking classroom. We're gonna tell on me on the teacher, mm. Nork. <laughs> You're getting the beef stew. Hold them down, Rise. <laughs> getting away <laughs> during recess. <laughs> oh god, what an interesting lawsuit, though. Congratulations to the women who who hopefully made a difference in the ass farts to the face. <laughs> Do you think? If the COO was like really hot, they'd they'd just not say anything. Fuck no! No one wants to get farted in the face. What are you talking about? Even if it was yeah, our top like, ten hottest well, men working some people at do. Riot, all of them, yeah. all ten. So that that's another good question. Imagine you guys somehow are working at a movie studio. You're like either a temp or a d director. Or you're doing something, and Henry Cavill's there, and he just he just every day farts <laughs> on you. Would you say something? I'd probably say something, yeah. I mean, I respect the guy. He's good looking, but I wouldn't want to just keep getting my at or my face farted on. Uh, Are you asking if I was some sort you, of a woman uh, attracted to, or again. if I was me? All right, let's let's flip the script then. Let's flip the script. Say, uh, I'll just go with Kaya's choice. Halle Berry is on set, mm -hmm. and and every day, every day, just during coffee break or something, without anyone noticing, Ugh. she just rips a disgusting fart right in your face. See, that's so different. That's, she, that's humorous. Yeah. Does she only do it to me or everyone else? <laughs> like, am I special to her? Yeah, that's a double standard, Charlie. Holy fuck. I wouldn't be fine with that at all. I'd be unattracted to her then after that point if she would ass in my face. I wouldn't be attracted to her, but I'd at least find the humor in it. Henry Cavill no, no. ripping ass in my face isn't You guys are approaching that's that's such a wrong double angle. standard. Andrew, is she only doing so what, it to me? So what, girl to less... Or everyone. Okay, so... So it is not a sexual act at all. It is not her like mating call to seduce you. It is just <laughs> she's had her coffee. You guys are taking a five minute Ugh. break from shooting. She's making sure no one is watching, and she is just ripping disgusting, wet, nasty farts right in your face, and you clearly doing it as like me. a power move. Does she do it to everyone what? or just with me? You don't know. She's making sure that mm. you two are alone when she does it. She, she could be doing it to other people, but you don't know. Okay, You're not so sure. the way I see it. If we were a couple, then hopefully at some point we're going to get comfortable <laughs> enough where we fart next to each other anyway, so... To, the Not way I see she's just face. skipping a couple yeah. of steps. Okay, okay, so you're, you're, you've never met her before. It's like your first week working on set. And she mm -hmm. just goes, hey, new guy, come here real quick. And just blows fucking chunky ass right in your mouth. <laughs> Ugh. So then, I guess I would take the... I would... I mean, she's leading, but I would take the lead in this dance, in this mating dance, and fart back. <laughs> <laughs> she, she calls HR on you, and you're thrown in jail. <laughs> Yo, Javi Weinstein. Make all Weinstein. the news. Local pervert farts on Holly Berry. <laughs> it was self-defense farting. To, to <laughs> Jackson's point that. about it being a double standard, I think there's a very clear biological difference between a man fart and a girl fart. Girl farts are always no, humorous. they're the same. No, they're, they're still stinky nice. butthole farts. <laughs> no, humorous. Girls humorous. can have oh. stinky assholes. They can smell bad. Come on. All I'm all I'm hearing is Charlie's attracted to girl farts. So yeah, I mean, there's I a think difference I'm between with Charlie. I would attracted. I would just rationalize what? it and build some sort of a defense mechanism to deal with it, where. I would bring a fan to work, just sit it next to my table, turn it on when she's around. Counter 
countermeasures. Yeah. I wear a face Blow mask. Back at <laughs> <laughs> Come to work wearing a gas mask every day. <laughs> She farts into the fan and blows directly back into her mouth. <laughs> she fucking, dies, yeah. Like cartoon nose <laughs> clamp. Hey, Helly, how are you today? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Helly, I just came into work into my protective bubble. How are you? How's Bouncing Matt around suit. the studio. <laughs> uh, I think girl farts are gross, Charlie. So, I think they're just always entertaining. I think though. all farts are gross, I should say. How, how I mean, all farts are entertaining farts? from afar. What if, what if, okay. you're talk- Go ahead. You're talking directly in your face, though. There's an asshole up against your face and they're fighting directly in your face. Are you still going to laugh if that's a girl? Fuck <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it, no, but if what? it was a guy, I probably wouldn't. I'd be like, well, that's disrespectful. You're clearly questioning uh, my manhood. But if right, it's a girl, so that's just kind of a joke. Just because she's sexually attracted to the girl, then. Yeah, let's put, quantifi- the let's put quantifiers on it. What if the girl is like a solid two out of ten? Like, like obese and not attractive. Yeah. I, it still doesn't change it. There's just something about girl farts that are, I think, more humorous than There's a guy no fart. difference between girl farts and guy farts, though. That's still the same. That's what I'm saying. There's no difference between girl nipple and guy nipples. There is a difference. No, well, that's no, not even really remotely isn't. the same. That is the same. No, it's not. Farts are not different between sexes. And neither are nipples Nip- on appearance side. Nipples d- have different functions, though. That's a different function, but they're identical in terms of appearance. Thus, so is a fart. All right, let me, Charlie, let's add some qualifiers. Let's say Henry Henry Cavill's there again, and let's say he is notorious <laughs> for when he farts, they are adorable, and he giggles like a little baby. <laughs> are you now he's okay with Henry Cavill? Ca- are you now okay so with Henry farting on you? So he's basically the perfect man. Yeah, yeah. Are you now okay with him farting on you? No, no. I still think that's disrespectful. All right, all right. What if he had a girl's fart? What if it sounded exactly yeah. the same, like same pitch, same it's smell, not- same everything as a girl's fart? Oh, so like a girl's fart right. has right, different right. pitches and sounds. It's just the fact that it comes I'm from saying. a girl's you're, you're asshole. Locked, you're locked in a pitch black room. You cannot see. <laughs> you're told to walk forward, and when you do, <laughs> and when you do, your your face and nose plant squarely into some butt cheeks, and it farts. And your brain immediately goes, "That was a girl fart." But then the lights flick on, and it's Henry Cavill. On all fours, bare assed. Are you upset? Well, that's just. A, I'm wondering why I signed up for that fear factor, but <laughs> it, was your, the day. it was your initiation into the club. Yeah, at the end of the day, I think that'd just be like kind of a good joke in and of itself, too. There's no disrespect there. I, I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure out where the, the, the line is drawn here. All right, so if it's Henry Cavill, but with a woman's asshole stitched on, no, you, you're does missing that make the a point. difference? No, you're missing the point. It coming from so a girl- it is just a sexist term. Like yeah. you, you're just thinking about it as. Girls are cute or whatever. No, it's just exactly. it's, like a, ta- it's like a taboo right. thing. Like girls don't <clears throat> fart when they do. No, it's, all right. I got another I good one for you. Tubers. I got another good one for you. Two perfectly identical twins are born. One is a boy. One is a girl. <laughs> they're like they're like anime where they look exactly the same. They both fart in your face. How disgusted are you? Fifty percent. Well, then that's double the trouble. If it was two girls farting in my face, I'd probably feel disrespected it's two then, too. Se- two separate instances. <laughs> one one farts one day, one farts the other day. You can well, hear it in 3D. I wouldn't want to get, like, machine gun farted on, Andrew. You're missing the point. It's just the fact that a girl farting, I think, is humorous. More yeah, humorous than it. a guy farting. Look, it's like yeah. anal. If you're straight, you want to fuck chicks in their assholes, but not dudes, even though they're both assholes and the act is the same. That may have just convinced me in one sentence. <laughs> what? Andrew's, Andrew's gonna start <laughs> laughing at sexually girl attracted to the farts, though. Dude, yeah, why no, are you I'm going saying sexual attraction? I'm the, saying yeah, it's humorous. It's the same because he part. went sexually attracted. He's going anal. No, I'm... That's sexual. Well, yeah, he is. That's fair. Uh, no, I'm just saying it's the same body part. We're talking about assholes, and you're acting as if it's so wild that we discriminate or have a double standard of women's assholes versus assholes. But it's obvious assholes. why you'd want uh, only want to fuck a woman's asshole it, if yeah, you're sexually attracted to only women. It's fart- Wh- whereas farts, you should feel the same across genders because exact- it's a fucking fart. Yeah, to me, farts are farts. It doesn't matter whose asshole sprayed it out. No, the same shit. Well, to me, I think holes are holes. Different. I just like the ones on women. And let me paint you a picture, Jackson. You- exactly, that's sexual. Yeah. Well, no, you- Jackson, you, me, and your girlfriend were out for a night around town uh, we're going bowling, and I rip ass next to the cashier. That's just kind of disgusting. <laughs> yeah. But if your girlfriend like rips some fat ass in front of the cashier, I think you and I would both laugh pretty I'd hard. I'd storm out. 
I'd, <laughs> see, I'd laugh if you, I'd laugh if you ripped ass in front of the cashier. Yeah, I'd laugh be funny. if you ripped ass. Yeah. No, it wouldn't be nearly as impactful as if Kira did. Well, it's it's not fair because you fart all the time, whereas we never. I think what you're looking <laughs> well, for. That's, okay, well, that's fucked up. No, no. What what I think what you're looking for is like chasing the thrill, the hunt of a mysterious creature, because you think that you wouldn't be as upset by the girl fart because you don't hear girls farts as often. Yeah, which makes them more entertaining, that makes them more humorous than a guy but fart, which you still, hear every time. There's still farts. Okay, okay, here's a better, here's another scenario. You're, you're a wage oh slave. <laughs> you're a wage <laughs> slave working you're in your cubicle. You're stuck underwater with sharks <laughs> coming at you. <laughs> <laughs> a girl shark farts on you, do you get eaten alive? No, you're, you're a wage slave. You're working at your nine to five job, whatever it is. Your boss is a woman. She <clears throat> farts on you. Every day as mm -hmm. part of office culture, are you disgusted? Yeah, that's that's a little different. That's Why? that's coming from a because that's coming from a point of authority. That's just clearly disrespecting me. Yeah, and also depending on how she looks. Yeah, she, <laughs> say Kai's taking this in a sexual direction like, every yeah, single you time. Guys, you guys are making it all about sexual stuff. A fart's no, a fart. It's not about just sexual stuff. It's simply that was disrespectful. But ah, you know the uh, burn okay. we bear as men. <laughs> All right, I got, a, I got another one. No. I, got a, I got another this one for you. Boxes to be you're, used. You're working your nine to five, <laughs> and and a female employee runs up to you with a jarred fart. You don't know if it's a man or a woman's, and throws it on you. <laughs> Are you disrespected? <laughs> yeah, I feel attacked by chemical warfare. That's a, yeah, biological. Yeah. like. Uh, risk. But she does it as like a prank, like like that office culture, like that hot. -ha. Okay, wait. Okay, okay. Does it make a sound when she opens it, like a fart sound? <laughs> <laughs> Those are SpongeBob laws of physics. Because <laughs> yeah. then I'd laugh really fucking hard. Yeah, no, that so would just be... dropping jarred farts around like firecrackers. Oh my that, god, that would be funny, actually. Yeah. That would be great. Yeah, I, I changed tapes. <laughs> she breaks the jar and you just hear a bunch of little crackling farts. <laughs> uh, it's, I, I think, think all farts are gross. I think, I think they're point. funny. I think they're yeah. funny from afar. Anyone farting from afar would be funny to me, regardless yes. of gender. But as soon as you bring that up into my personal space and fart directly in my face or whatever, it doesn't matter what gender you are. That's... I, yeah, okay, that's, what if, I crossed the line. So what do you do, Jackson? You're, you're eating your girl out, she farts. On your chin. You're making this sexual again! I'm asking, every I am single just time. asking you, do you... Do you just forgive it, or do you immediately I, stop and leave? I, yeah, of course I... Of course I forgive it, unless she, like, leans back and... And <laughs> stares at me with malicious intent. <laughs> and she, like... She, <laughs> she, she, well, she, 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 she says, I've got evil. another we one stored it. up. We forgive you. <laughs> You're talking about a sexual act, though! An accident! <laughs> we forgive you, ladies. <laughs> Alright, you're, you're in the park. You're in the park, uh, fucking around. You're reading on your phone, whatever, you're waiting for something. And sitting next to you is a girl reading a book. She's moderately attractive. She's decent looking. She farts. She barely even knows you're there. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Are you Nothing. Do you what, complete, what am I supposed to be yelling at? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> she's minding her, her own Just business on a park bench. Push her face in her fart. She's farting. <laughs> Flip the bench over. <laughs> but she's like right next to you and you can smell Doggy it. Doggy solo. Eat her ass. You go, oh, that's a little faux pas there, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> what I know what Kai would do. Kai would lean over and say, well, here's, here's, would say, he would lean over and say, can I have seconds or some shit with the way he's going tonight? I'm not gonna. I feel right, like you're right. secretly into so farts or something, Kai. Because here's the that's thing. That's a little faux pas. Imagine you're sitting on the bench, and and it, and it's a, it's a man, and he looks at you, and he goes, "Excuse me, sir, I have to fart," and he farts like on you. Would you feel worse about it if a, than if a woman did that? Yes, very. Because the Why? woman did ask me, "May I fart on you?" No, and no, then no. Did okay, it on me. okay. Both, both scenarios are the same. You, it's a random stranger. You're on a park bench. A man in one universe, a woman in the other, and they look at you and say, Oh, I got a fart, and they fart all over you. Are you less upset when it's the woman? What do you mean all over me? Like she's gonna sit on my lap, swivel around in a fart? <laughs> they get very close to your face and are just like farting real hard. Yeah, I think I was Did some, on some sort of a camera prank show and I... Yeah, I wouldn't like that. <laughs> 
Exactly. But, but I also look at her and go, wow. What, 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 kind of, what kind of fire? Is it like a little soft one or can no, you feel like no, no, no. shit flakes hitting your face? It's it's like a powerful wet one. Like It, it sounds like oh. a muscular man is clapping from her ass. Yeah, I would look around for the hidden camera. And if I didn't see anything, I'd look at her and go, lady, you're not hot enough to get away with that. And I'd take my newspaper, tell her good day and leave. So, <laughs> why are you reading a newspaper? <laughs> I'm excusing myself, madam, you harlot. I was not impressed. Ma'am, I did not appreciate that. Thank you and good day. <laughs> God damn. These I things which you reserved for ways. the bedroom. So, I don't... So I don't get that, then. Why Henry Cavill, See, he is the into it. hottest man on the planet, isn't allowed to fart on you? It's disrespectful if it's a man. Because yeah. then he doesn't value me as a man. He doesn't view me as an equal. I don't, he I don't get me as how a it becomes box. disrespectful. It can be less sexy, sure, but how is it disrespectful? Yeah, you're just sexist. Yeah. I just... It's the, it's the opposite of sexism. I'm valuing women over men farts. Yeah. I... Uh, well, I won that one pretty easily. Period. No, I mean, like, you're completely wrong, but I don't know how to express it. <laughs> Why, men and right, women oh, are different? Uh, we treat them differently. Uh, all right. All right. A robot approaches you <laughs> on the park <laughs> bench. Okay. Well, These hypotheticals are getting out of hand. Because yeah, I need to find the, the line. Robot to fart? I need to find the line. A robot drives up to you. Okay, a robot drives up to you on its treads, its tank treads, and it pulls up a little canister, a little, a little like attachment in its arm, and it sprays fart gas on you. And it won't tell you if it was a man or a woman's fart until you say if you're offended. So does what the do robot do? look like Alita? It, it is a boxy robot, like a literal, like, cliche sci-fi 1950s robot. Well, no, again, I don't know where where he sourced those farts. I, it's not the fart itself <laughs> okay, that okay, is wait, interesting wait, 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 wait. or funny. I don't care about okay. it. I care about where it All right, comes wait, 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 wait. I got, I, got, I, got a better, I got a better example of that. It's the same exact scenario, but after the robot sprays you with fart gas, it says, that was Halle Berry's fart, and you know for a fact it was. Are you upset? I can detect it from the smell. <laughs> it, it says it shows a little monitor with proof positive DNA testing show it was showing it was Halle Berry's fart. You know for a fact. There's no doubt in your mind it came from Halle Berry's ass. Yeah, okay, I don't Are know you what upset? you want me to say though. I what what do you mean? What would I say? I would say what the fuck just happened? <laughs> just, I wouldn't Who be into this it robot or, in here. I wouldn't be revolted. I, I guess I would be fucking scared shitless that a DARPA robot is farting on me. <laughs> It's their newest technology. <laughs> I just want to know where the line is, because it's like, is it the fact that the hot girl... We know girl... where the line is. The, no, the no, line no. is just, if you're a woman or a man for them. No, no, no. It. Is it the idea yeah. that the hot girl is doing the farting? Is it the fact that it, it is a, have to hot be a hot girl's girl. fart? No, it doesn't have to be a hot girl. So just yeah, a Charlie girl only said even if it was an obese girl farting his face, he'd find it amusing yeah. as opposed to a man. Well, well, fat people farting oh, see, is funny too. Kai is different. Well, that's it. well, you made it sound malicious. Yeah, you changed the what? tone of it there. It was always malicious. Yeah. It was always people farting in your face. Which you, all right, that is all right. not at all how Andrew all right, phrased it. He phrased it as on. if I was going into a sensory deprivation tank, eating asshole, <laughs> looking for farts. Would you rather? <laughs> would you rather have Halle Berry fart on you aggressively or Henry Cavill fart on you playfully? That was a good question. See, that's better. <laughs> yeah, see, that's the question. There we go. We got to the root of the matter. Which uh, one would you rather have? Me? Anyone. We know what you'd say. <laughs> well, and Kaya would lo would get off on Halle Berry farting aggressively yeah. on him. Yeah, I, I don't want to... Kaya would... Her aside, I don't want to smell Henry's farts no matter what. <laughs> that's the last the thing I want. smell the same. <laughs> They're still farts. All, all right, all right. Smell different. That was just kind of racist. It, it, in that, in that same thing, Halle Berry <laughs> has disgusting rotten egg farts, and Henry Cavill has like mild playful farts. Which one? <laughs> what a mild playful fart smell like, Andrew. If you didn't notice it, you wouldn't smell it. But you're, but oh. because you heard the sound and you notice him farting on you, you'd go, "Oh, I got, I got a little something." That's just sad. <laughs> I'd, I'd lose respect for him. I think. Like you look like this fucking. <laughs> you look like Popeye the Sailor Man in real life with hair and shit. And that's it, like a little mouse peep. You're Superman. Yeah, I would be, I, yeah, I would be more of a disappointed. Fun. That's totally yeah. fair, actually. I think I'd feel a little disappointed too. So called man, get Barry. out of here. Yeah. 
Well, I so, think we psychoanalyzed this pretty well and yeah. came to the conclusion that girl farts are always more humorous. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll give you more humorous, but I don't know if they're more... Then why? Wait, that's what's my whole point, no, like, this whole time. Because there's a difference when you people are farting on you compared to when you're watching people get yeah. farted on. Yeah. And it sounded like you were saying that you'd prefer a woman to fart on your face as opposed to a guy. When it does. I was saying that both well, would well, be bad. Well, Jackson, to be fair, to happen, if I had the, the choice, woman. yeah, if I had the choice, yeah, but I wouldn't enjoy it more. I, I would choose neither. You can't. That's not the. That's the fucking breaking wow. the rules. Yeah, that's like that's like saying if someone says, "Would you rather do this or that?" and you're like, "I wouldn't play. I wouldn't do it." It's like that's not the point, Jackson. Like the, fart. the point is to get fart in your face. Yeah. yeah. That's the whole point of Take any like human thing. That's what we all strive for. Big fat wet dookie in your mouth. Next topic. Does Kira fart a lot, Jackson? No. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Does Tiana rip ass a lot? God constantly. More than I do. <laughs> Well, maybe that's why you're into it. Yeah, maybe, maybe you've kind of become why? accustomed to You're hearing a woman fart. No, to me it sounds more like his girlfriend is more comfortable in the relationship than yours. I don't want to <laughs> yeah, have to. Wow. I, I don't want to have to partition Damn. my thoughts depending on who I'm. Uh, you know, if my girlfriend is in the room or not. If I'm comfortable with her, I want to be able to fart. And no, her, I'm not going to go to the bathroom hey, hey, to hey, fart. Hey, 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 we we fart around each other a lot. Thank you. It's just she doesn't naturally do it often. Or maybe mm. she just takes it elsewhere. Yeah. To a what man if, that can appreciate her farts. What yeah. if she rips the stinkiest, <laughs> most disgusting ass in the bathroom, but around you she only lets out the like little little girly farts just to not We sh we ship with the doors open in my household. Do you really? Fine. I feel like you would. Yeah, why? What's wrong with that? Wait, do you really? Yeah, it lets like a breeze through. It's nice. Well, Jackson also gets butt ass naked when he takes a shit. So that must <laughs> yeah. always be <laughs> you're, you're the bigger that purview. We we were just talking about farts. You you are saying you actually enjoy the shit fumes of your girlfriend. Yeah, passing through. What? The I don't house. sit around the toilet. I'm just saying it doesn't matter. <laughs> Jackson's hiding behind the tank. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm right oh, in there this with is her. Such a nice draft. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah, fill my house. I just don't want to be. I don't. I don't want to be boxed into a room. I don't want. I wouldn't want like to be boxed to be into a house with farts. I don't know what's wrong with you. Close the. Yeah, I don't want to go to your place anymore, Jesus. Yeah. You don't even isolate your shits. Is that, you guys are pussies. Is that mandatory policy for anyone who comes over? Like, oh, if you're gonna take <laughs> yeah, a shit, leave everyone the door has open. to shit with the door open. <laughs> you won't like Add that to policy. The with me. Add I to think the you're smell. gonna barricade the door. I'm <laughs> over. <laughs> <laughs> This yeah, is you, coming, you can shit outside. Yeah, this is coming from a man who, how long was it, Kaya? You were shitting for over an hour, and we genuinely thought you had passed out or hurt yourself or something. I was considering we, putting was a damp, me, yeah. damp cloth onto the bathroom floor <laughs> and the door. <laughs> I gassed myself like a suicidal maniac in his car. <laughs> Dude, I was fucked that day. I, yeah, I remember that day. It was fucked up. Have we told that story on and the show? They, uh, I yeah, hope we, we have. We, we oh, yeah, we have. Yeah, we have. <clears throat> I don't know when, but I, yeah. I was genuinely concerned for your safety when it was like hour three and there was no sign of Kai after. Oh no, you weren't the there. You must be speaking of yeah, another just me. occasion. D yeah, you did. You did one while I was there. Maybe it wasn't as long, but I remember. Yeah, because how long we... do your shits usually take? Oh, well, I mean, I, at that point, ahead. I guess my stomach wasn't used to the American cuisine, which is ninety percent grease. Yeah, but mm. I, yeah, you I did had one like while two I was different there. distinct shits that I remember while I was still in America that were horrible, and I was in pain, and then one midair on the plane that I remember that was fucking god awful. Oh, that's probably the worst one, man! Shitting in an yeah. airport airplane bathroom. Oh, god. Oh, awful. Too. Oh, we told god. that story too. I had the cold, such cold sweats in all. Yeah, yeah. Well, how long? How long are the flights from Germany and Australia? Too long. <laughs> Fifteen hours or something. All up, Jesus. all up from where I am to Tampa, it's about forty hours. What? It's about it, the flights are like twenty-four hours, but then layovers and stuff because you can never get oh. a direct flight. Yeah, that too. Miserable. You have the fucking layovers. I was thinking, okay, I can sit through this pain. I had not shit since the day before. I can sit through this pain. It's just a fifteen-hour flight or whatever. And then on the layover flight, which is just half an hour, I realize I can't. We sat on the fucking runway for like half an hour. I'm sweating. 
literal balls of sweat running down my forehead and I'm just worried people are going to see me shaking. I, I look like I was detoxing from something. God. All this could have been prevented if Riot Games wasn't just a fucking mess. Yeah. <laughs> look at this discussion we're having, guys. It's disgusting. Fuck you, Riot Games. Look what you've made us do. They've ruined the culture of the podcast They've as well. They've ruined the cultures of farting with your we friends. We should sue them and settle. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. I could smell his farts through his League of Legends champions. Could we do that, potentially? Just find big companies, find any way to sue them for <clears throat> literally anything, but then just end up settling just to get some sort of payout? Probably They wouldn't not. settle unless they know they have a, like, a, a damaged case. If they knew that we would just... Just like targeting them for that, they could just destroy us. Yeah, they would. I think so. On that note, mm -hmm. though, could you guys imagine what would happen if we hired some sort of an intern? Like we all live in the. I never want to do this. I'd rather die. But we all rent a mansion or something like all those fucking YouTubers do. We all move in together and we mm -hmm. hire an intern to live with us. The poor fuck. Yeah, we fart on him. She's like, there's five <laughs> yeah. bathrooms and they're all occupied by Kaya at the same time. I don't know how that's even possible. <laughs> I went to complain God. to Charlie, but he wouldn't look up from his League of Legends game, and Andrew was masturbating to hentai, and I don't even know where Jackson is. Kai, I like the idea of you shitting into a toilet so hard that it backs up into every other toilet in the house. <laughs> yeah, it just sprinkles uh, your seat it's a elsewhere powerful in the visual. house. <laughs> I'm, I'm walking around removing the doors off the bathrooms as well. <laughs> While Kai is shitting in one. <laughs> in all of he just keeps removing the doors behind everyone, it's me. <laughs> Kai, Kai is just taking a massive fucking log and Jackson's just idly removing the door while he's in there. <laughs> oh, you couldn't oh, bear be the visible. stench. God, if we live together, I need an entire wing of the house to myself. Not just a stench. Yeah, I, mean, I would hate. I would hate a stream house. I wipe, or whatever they call it. I have to get, remember. I wipe. I have to get up, flush, and then after I flush, I have to get the brush and remove the Jackson Pollock painting that I left behind on the toilet bowl. <laughs> It's I'm, all really, I'm really upset that I don't think a lot of our audience is going to know who Jackson Pollock is because that might be one of the best jokes you've ever told. <laughs> I think I like they know that one a lot. I hope so. I think a lot of them know. I hope so. <laughs> Jackson, Pollock. Uh, oh, man. Jackson well, Pollock's still a household name. He's still is like he really? the, yeah, yeah, he's still the epitome of shit art worth way too much money. I thought he fell off like entirely. Wow. I guess I'm he wrong. still is like the second most expensive painting ever sold at like a hundred million plus. I, yeah. I would love to see Jackson Pollock painting with his actual shit splatters. I'd love to see what it looks like. Just Google his work. And then it sells for like fifty thousand hundred million dollars. Just an absorbent amount of money. Alrighty. I, uh... Should we wrap? Or do we yeah. Yeah, if you Probably. want. Does anyone else have any? Well, yeah, we've got an episode tomorrow, so um, yeah. we've got topics for then. Yeah, I have plenty. I we'll have a fucking funny headline here that I wanted to read, but I can save it. Yeah, just yeah, save, yeah, save it for tomorrow. tomorrow. Alrighty. Uh, thanks, everyone, for your support. All you beautiful patrons out there. Appreciate it. Throwing a couple bucks our way it means a lot to us. Um, hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll see you next time we record these bonuses which is in two weeks we do them every two weeks so we'll see you next time mm -hmm. bye everyone thank bye -bye. you bye bye bye